Hello everyone, my name is Sarah and I teach comparative anatomy. This video is going to take you through the shark urogenital system. It's going to show you a series of photos that I have labeled very nicely that should help you study for any future exams. So let's get started. We are going to begin with the male reproductive system. The testis is the male gonad. This is where sperm is produced through a process known as spermatogenesis. The testes are held in place via the mesorchium. Now that's just mesentery that is holding the testes. So in the shark, you'll notice that the testes are cranial in the body cavity, whereas in mammals, they're caudal. And so you will find the testes behind both the stomach and the liver. So once the sperm have been produced in the testes, they travel to the epididymis via what are known as afferent ductules. In this epididymis, the sperm is gonna be stored until it matures. And once it has matured, the sperm has matured, the sperm will be ejaculated. The vas or ductus deferens is the duct system that moves the sperm from the epididymis to the ejaculatory duct. The sperm is moved through the deferens by a process known as peristalsis, which is just rhythmic muscle contractions. So as the sperm is moving through the vas deferens, it's going to move through what are known as seminal vesicles. This is where semen is produced. So the sperm is going to move through these seminal vesicles whilst it's about to be ejaculated from the body. Semen is very important because sperm are unable to move unless they are encapsulated in semen. Now sharks have what are known as sperm sacs that receive those seminal secretions and are going to store them up until they are released from the body. You will find the sperm sacs at the very caudal end just prior to the cloaca in the shark. Now in males, the male reproductive system is generally highly associated with the kidney. And you guys are well aware that the kidney is involved in excretion and osmoregulation. So this is where the production of urea in urine takes place. And so you guys are gonna have to be able to identify the kidney in both the female and male sharks. The kidney in the male shark is located just dorsal to the seminal vesicles. So we're moving on to the female reproductive system. The female gonad is the ovary. It's where oocytes or ovocytes or ova are produced. Those are all synonymous names. They're produced via eugenesis. The ovaries are held in place by mesentery called the mesovarium. So here in the shark, you can see the ova in the ovaries, at least one of the ovaries. The other ovary does not have any eggs, but the ovaries are located also high in the body cavity behind the liver and the stomach. Now, once an egg has left the ovary, it's going to enter the oviduct through what is known as the ostium. So the ostium is just a hole, it's the opening of the oviduct. In sharks, that ostium sits sort of hanging over and above the liver. The oviduct, also known as the fallopian tube, is where fertilization is going to take place. And fertilization is going to take place prior to the shell gland. So the zygote, and a zygote is what you call the fertilized embryo. The zygote passes through the shell gland after fertilization has taken place. The shell gland secretes a membrane that surrounds the zygote and may also function in sperm storage. So now the egg has been fertilized. It's become a zygote. It's passed through the shell gland and is entering the uterus. This is where the embryo or the zygote is going to develop. This is the location of implantation. Sharks, interestingly, have two uteri. And these uteri are held in place by what's called the mesotubarium. It's just another 
mesentery that's holding up the uteri. And of course, the kidney in the female shark is located caudally within the body cavity, just like the male shark. However, there is no seminal, seminal vesicle that is ventral to the kidney. So you will find it still, like in the male shark, close to the rectal gland. 